Hi everyone. So this is what I found. It's actually a moon chair or a mushroom chair, as they call it. Um, it's extremely portable. So you can fold it up. So it's like a camping chair. The nice bit about this is it's actually got a round metal shell, which the Palomo shell does have uh, around it as well. So I'm going to try this out, especially when I'm travelling to clients. Um, you see it's quite nice and small and maybe will fit in. It's extremely soft, which I quite like. And then obviously there is my attachment, my metal piece of attachment where I can attach the material to. So you obviously want to go for the round look to the chair. So I've got my material, which is quite big. So obviously I'll, I'll, I'm going to use half of it. I'm going to put it over, over the chair. These sort of poses, um, the main thing would be um, to make sure that I have a crease-free sort of material. So the clamps are quite important. Um, I do have these bulldog clamps that you can get at any stationery store, but for the purpose of this chair, I can already see that I need quite a sturdy clamp. Um, so these are the ones you can get from the Chinese shop or builders, etc. So my most important thing is that it's safe and secure for baby. Um, I would prefer using these clamps. So obviously once I've laid baby in, you can actually see the shape and I'll, I'll bring in the camera closer so that you can see. The main thing for me is that I can still access to put bags and posing bean bags underneath baby when I'm positioning in all my fillers. Um, and then I can use this clamp to sort of clamp it closed. So once I've laid baby, you can actually see. So let me tilt this down a little bit, and then you can actually see what it will look like. And to me, this is more than enough space to work with one baby, or even twins, for those nice detailed close-up shots. I, like, I prefer to keep working on the floor, purely because I don't like to be too high up off the ground with babies for safety purposes and for me as well. I do have a bad back sometimes, so I prefer working actually on the floor as you can see here. I'd be sitting sort of like this with baby and I can maneuver this chair. Cool is that idea. And I won't tell you how much I paid for this chair. <laughs> it's actually under 300 rand. Can you believe it? Um, it looks like it's about a meter in width. And I'm excited to start working with it. It's very stable. You know, I'm leaning on it at the moment and it's not going to go anywhere, um, which is quite important. You, what I would also maybe suggest is put some bean bags at the bottom here just to secure it even more if you feel from a safety point of view um, that it's going to topple over. I mean, I'm leaning at the moment and you can actually see, but I'm tilting it forward. So obviously once baby's in there, it, it's quite solid. Um, so safety is very important when you're working with these little, these little munchkins, as I call them. Um, okay. Yeah, I very rarely ask for help with carrying things, um, and it comes, with, it comes with a carry bag, so you can flip it over your shoulder, carry it into the client, and wheel your photography bag in with you. So, to me, this is going to be an awesome, awesome chair to use and I can pack it away after every newborn shoot and have my studio all nice and, and tidy. So if you'd like to know where I got the chair from, pop me a message and I'll send you the information. Um, you can order bigger ones online as well, they're a lot more expensive, but I think to start out just for a travel, a travel one to take around to your client, it's the perfect size to just sort of carry with you. I'd love to see your little setups with the chairs um, and see it being used. And let me know your feedback, how it goes, and if it's something that does work for you. Keep following my work and I look forward to hearing from you.